Hey YouTube, this your girl Yellow Melon, and I'm back again. This time I'm coming to you to do another continuing of the Unicorn DIYs. Yesterday I uploaded a uh, video, sorry, a video of these lovely DIYs of these pumpkin unicorns. So today we're going to make a, like some little dish unicorns and a planner unicorn for you to put like your pencils or makeup brushes, whatever you want to do. We're also going to make a jewelry holder, unicorn jewelry holder, and a little unicorn whatnot little plates and bows. So, we're going to continue on with the theme, as I said. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today. Only uh, pre, pre, I only pre-did one of the, um, of what we're making today. This is what we're going to make today. This beautiful unicorn planner. Planter. I don't know. It's singing. Ugh. Can't get my words out. So this is what it looks like. And this is what we're going to do today. Um, things that you need for the planner it the planner um unicorn is you just gonna need simple I got this from Walmart, it was 77 cents. It was a red clay one. I painted it white. So you're gonna need some white paint. And I went ahead and painted this ahead before I made the video because I didn't want to have to wait for it to dry, even though it, it dried pretty fast. You're also gonna need this peach color for the cheeks. I bought these little packs of sponges. They were $1.97, comes with different sizes. And I'm just using the one half size just to pat it around. Also, I um, use two picks to support. Um, while I was letting my uh, horns dry, I used the two picks. I also got a pack of these brushes to paint my unicorn horn. I grabbed a pack of these mini craft sticks, 150 count. And this is what I'm just using for the support of the unicorn for on the planter. Planter. I keep saying planter. It sounds like I'm saying planter, but I'm not saying it. And then I got these little dishes, this little bowl. And you know the where the little 88 cents house were um, in the dishes section, this is what they are. So I got this little bowl. Got this other little saucer like small like bowl and then I got this little bitty saucer so we're going to rouse it out of those up also also for um you need a pencil which I use to pre-dry my eye um brows and eyelashes on the unicorn and then you need this gold painter Glue gum, glue sticks. Paintbrush when you're painting this one white. And oh, oh, oh. And these little mini rose flowers I got from the 99 cents only store. But I'm pretty sure you can go to like Michaels or Walmart and they might have some cute little small little roses for you so I'm gonna go ahead and start out by um, taking off the roses that I am going to use Put them to the side until we get to that step. Oh, you're also going to need scissors. What did I do with my scissors? And scissors. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and I already have these prepped. So what you're going to do is you want to cut this as flat as possible. 
so you'll be able to easily by the way I didn't do a like subscribe if you're already subscribed welcome to the channel as always I appreciate everyone showing their love also make sure you share 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 the video Make sure you hit the bell to be alerted every time when I upload a video. And make sure that you also like my video when I'm done. If you want to, you can go ahead and hit it now. So, right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and dry my eyelashes on. I'm using a pencil that way um, if I mess up, I can easily just retrace. For erase and rewriting. And if you if you just happen to be heavy handed and write too dark, you still can. Or you can use white paint. So there you go. I already drew the lashes on. Next thing I'm gonna do is I have my little paint thing. My little painter, gold painter, is messed up. So what I've been having to do is dab it, dab out the paint like this I had bought some I had bought a gold fine gold and black metallic uh, permanent marker from Dollar Tree but I do not know what I did with it And I got it just for this project because I didn't want to have to struggle with this funny active pen. Because for some reason, when I try to like, it say it's supposed to be fine, uh, fine print, where you can do fine letters, fine points, not fine print, fine point. But for some reason, when I'm writing with the pen, it lets too much paint come out. So. I'll just do it this way for now. Hope everyone has had a wonderful day or is is having a wonderful day I know I had a blessed Sunday service was good just thankful to be able to just wake up to see another day back on and this dries pretty fast so there we go there's my eyelashes next thing we're gonna do is because this is like a very very peachy peach so I'm gonna do a little white
So I kind of pretty much, I dab into my pink first, then dab some into the white. Go to the side, mix it kind of up how I want it. Get the white kind of peachy. Then I figure out kind of like where I want it. Like you could use the bigger size sponge, but I kind of like like using this and as I'm dabbing it, I'm twisting at the same time when I'm dabbing. So, just doing it like this. The cheeks don't have to be too perfect. So, there's the little cheeks. Let me fix this little piece. So, the cheeks are fixed. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. They be sick on your door. Okay. So, here we go. Next, um, I knew it was something I forgot to tell you. You're also going to leave some of this. Close it up, Asia, please. You're also going to need some of this molded or drying molding clay. I got it from Walmart. Yeah, but second, a mama. And so, for the horns, all you do is, well, what I did was I rolled this into a ball. I rolled this into a ball, like this. I use a spray can to roll it to the thickness that I want. Mm -mm. Oh, it's all a ball inside here. Yeah. Oh, I got this knife. Yeah. So I basically cut like two little strips, depending on how long or how high I want my my uh unicorn. unicorn um, horn to be so and then I roll it like this where it's not flat, it's flat but like at the end I kind of keep it flat some sorry about the camera moving you guys and my flat is in I use to stick those, squeeze them kind of like together. Use that as like my base. And then you're just basically gonna twist around the unicorn's horn like this. Once you get it shaped to how you want it shaped, you want to, you can. Once you get done, you can smoothen it out. And because they want you to like wait 24 hours. But you can wait before you can go ahead and do it. It says it's 24 hours it'll be fully dry. And so what I did was um, for the unicorn horns, I put the. Can you do that? Yes, ma'am. I put the popcorn stick. Not popcorn stick. Oh Lord, popsicle stick, y'all. <laughs> Blooper. 
the popsicle stick, I suck it up like all the way up in here to give it some kind of support and squeezing my unicorn horn down, fixing it up how I want it. How I want, want it. And then what I did next was I just got my little brush and where's my gold paint? You have it. Oh, sorry you guys I am missing okay. oh okay here it goes y'all still gonna need this in your supplies I'm so sorry y'all did not get to include this in at the beginning of the video so it's just this folk art metallic gold is what I'm using and then I'm gonna just paint this unicorn horn, set it to the side, let it dry. I already pre prepped and did my unicorn horn and I already painted it to how I want it. So, next, all I'm gonna do is glue my unicorn horn on. see exactly where I want it first doing just like this and then you can go back later and yeah I got the skis and fingernails I've been doing DIYs all day so this is where I want my horn at and so you can go back and paint this white when you get done at the end so all I'm going to do is is this, that's hot? Yep, it's hot. Very hot. Add hot glue on. And before I even press, I'm going to make sure I line it up one more time. And then press it um, to the pot. Is this your favorite spot? having Bible study or something. Like, Body? Yeah. They're having something with the church going on. So I got it pressed up like this. You wanna say hi to everyone, Asia? Mm-hmm. You gotta come in where they can see you. Say hello. Say hi YouTube. I miss you. So once you got it on where you want it then we come to your flowers and you want to arrange it in the order that you want them so I'm just going to go white pink purple white pink purple white so you're going to need seven flowers or however full you want it Depend, depending on this gold paint from when I was painting. And however far you want it to go over. You put a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Then you just grab your glue gun. Yeah. Put a pretty good amount of glue. I know that was left while it was like painting. Excuse me, mama. Put a good amount of glue, and then you just press it on. I just put the glue. Now you might have to hold it for a little bit, Ooh. and then go on to the next one yeah. and do the yeah. same thing. Are you gonna do this same step each time on each one of the roses? Oh, 
I kind of stuff my little super mean paintbrush under so it can lean some. So I can see how I'm gluing my work, the roses on to the unicorn. This is a mona. This is a mona. Yeah, it's blue. Like I said, you might have to, you're going to have to hold it a little while for it to at least dry just a tad. Then you can release it and let it go. And some of your little rose buds, you might have to... Cut them down where they're a little bit flatter, depending on how the flower is made. Mm. Mm. You can have some. Oh, like you see how this one is starting to, I didn't hold it long enough, you guys. And at the end, you can just put your little makeup brushes in it. Yeah, some paint over there. So once I got everything in place, and there you go, you guys. You have your unicorn little planter, um, planter, and like I was, I didn't know if I wanted because I was gonna do put like some of this styrofoam in here, and then you know they have the little round ones from Dollar Tree. I was going to put probably one in there and add some more flowers at the top. Or you can use it to hold like your makeup brushes, pencils, whatever you decide you want to use for it. But there you have it. Now, let's go on to our little bow. That's not bow. We're going to basically do the same thing for your I'm gonna basically do the same thing for your you can either use a permanent marker or a marker or a pencil since this is a shiny glass and just basically draw your eyelashes on so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my eyelashes on if you write hard enough with the pencil it'll, it'll be good enough but I'm gonna use the marker so I didn't use the marker. Use the marker. No phone on. Yeah, you got video. 
much book this table. You can almost broke this table. So back to again with this little paint gold painter. No mind. This wonderful gold painter. Should have got some regular gold paint because this gold right here is kind of light. A very, very light. So when I have to paint more than once. You want to work right now. Go watch Good Dinosaur with your brother. So there's those eyelashes on. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other three salsa wares that I got from Walmart. I'm going to pause this real quick, you guys, and I'll be right back after I got the gold on. Okay, I'm back. So, now that I have all the eyelashes on, we're going to go ahead and go to the next step of just basically same stuff like you did on the pumpkins and the planner. Put out a little more this time because what it's in fact is um, doing three different things this time. And the good thing about this shiny one, if you mess up on it, you basically use your finger. So we got the little cheeks on. I'm going on to the next one. Just put the little cheeks on this one. There we go. The little cheeks. This one we might want to add a little more peach peach to it. Since it do kind of have like that high gloss shine to it, I guess we'll do it like that. There we go. Make 
make them a little darker. On to the next one. Go ahead and wash this little brush out real quick, you guys. I don't want the paint to be too hard. Hard on this brush, so I can use it again, clean it off, have soap and water, and a cup for you for the brushes. Okay, on to the next step. Now that we're done. Doing the painting, I can move that out the way. And you already know the little step. You're basically gonna do the same little step I showed you earlier on how to make the horn and painting it and everything. And I already have pre-did all my horns so they'll be somewhat dry. This one And like I said, at the very end, you can go back in and then just paint the back half of this little mini popsicle stick. Hold it. Oh, man. I actually messed up a little cheek, you guys. You gotta be careful when you're going ahead and doing this at the same time. There's nothing that can't be fixed though. Nothing can be fixed. There we go. And so on this one, I decided I wanted to add some little flowers in too. I'm not wearing it. I'm gonna leave these stems on. I'm not too much worrying about um Not too much worried about the little stem showing because I'm going to have like um, lip balms and stuff in it. So, not too worried about the stem showing. I'm just making sure I put a, a nice dab amount. about the camera moving you guys pause this and I'm going to come back after I done completed this one. Alright guys, so I'm back and this is what she looks like. And you can use this as like a little candy bowl or whatever you want to do. Next on to this one. 
this one I just wanted to do like just to put wings in so I made this one just gonna glue this at the bottom you have the E6000 you can do that If you want to add, add a flower or two onto it, you can, or you can just leave it like this. I think I'm going to just leave this one just like that. And I'm going to do the exact same thing through to this little sauce. I'm just making it as like a little wing holder or whatever, whatnot, whatever you want to put on it. Just basically setting it off in the center just like this so we have this up to the side So there you have it, you guys. Your little unicorn bows and jewelry holders, and then the unicorn planters, which I can just set these on the table. And I'm going to be doing like a, because I did my own, made my own little vanity makeup little area. So I'm going to have these on one of my shelves and then I will show it to you in the video of how I use mine. It's not forget about the little pumpkins. They're so gorgeous. So... This is your girl Yellow Melon and I'm out. I want to thank everyone for taking the time and being patient and watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so at this time. If you're already subscribed, love you so much. I thank you all, all for the love and support. And this is your girl Yellow Melon and I'm out. And I will see you next time. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, the bells, and be alerted. Love you guys.